Okay. I'm gonna actually start outside the place real quick. Hold on. Let me go ahead and do that. Well, it's uh it's been a minute. First thing I want to say is um, I did a couple things off camera. Let me explain. Just looking at my map alone, you can tell that I've done a couple things. I've got a couple towers, did a couple shrines, and I got a couple hearts along with a bit of stamina. And uh, I'm on the verge of getting more stamina. Actually, take that back. I'm going to do a heart. First things first, and this is all just from what I've recorded. After the last video that I did, there was basically, basically the game crashed. All I had to do from that point on was restart the game and pick up where I left off. And that's exactly what I did. I went and did a couple of shrines, managed to get to this village. You know, now that I'm actually recapping, I kind of forgot. I'll just kind of show a couple clips of me doing stuff. Hey, what's up guys? So I'm just editing this right now and I needed to add a little bit of a montage to explain what I did off camera. So basically I got three fairies from a fairy fountain, then I saw a tower. I went to do the tower, got it really quick, and then after I got the tower, I started flying to the town. Got the cutscene with the bird, saw the bird, then after I got the bird, I went to get the jacket, but the jacket was so expensive so I had to sell a bunch of things, unfortunately. But afterwards I got the jacket, so I was styling. I quickly did a shrine. I did the puzzle that was inside, it was super easy, super quick. I got a spirit orb, got two heart containers, and one stamina vessel. I talked to this guy and this lady, and then I went to a cutscene and came out a demon. I kind of expected that to happen, to be honest. And then I was too cold, so I had to turn away. Basically, I just needed to buy this pair of pants uh, in order to actually get over to the shrine that I'm going to at the moment, which I plan on doing really quick, and then coming back here, getting an extra heart, and then seeing where we lie with there. Right over there is where I want to be. So let's uh, let's head over there really quick. I was over here for a little bit of time, but my clothes were a little bit glitched out, and I had to come to the realization that I was indeed underprepared. And I would honestly argue that I still am underprepared. I have very little arrows. None of my bows are really that impressive. All of my melee weapons are pretty trash, and I have no shield. I have not had a shield for I want to say in real time of playing this game, I haven't had a shield for probably two hours which is unreal honestly if, if you ask me i think that's a little bit strange that I, I have yet to have a shield yet oh and i didn't even mention i was wearing the champion's tunic um i got that after the last episode as well man episode three and we're already on our first divine bees oh, man i want to reserve all these arrows i have i'm just kind of holding out that there's going to be arrows on the divine beast itself what you got arrows oh okay that's not a <sighs> <laughs> Let's see. Honestly. I need a minute. I'm gonna need to cook a couple things really quick. Let's see. Two of those. Try that. Perfect. That's fantastic. Let me hold one of these. This is gonna be steamed fruit. I don't want that. Great. Oh, this one's be a real kicker. Yes. Wow. Okay, dude. I am ready for this divine beast now. Maybe not ready in arrows, but I am I think I'm ready in spirit. Let's just go ahead and do it. I will admit, my bows and my melee weapons both suck. And I have no shield still, and that worries me. But I'm not worried about the food now, so we'll see. Maybe I'll be good. This, to me, is the coolest part of the game. One of the coolest. Let's go. They were hovering me over that I need to prepare button, because they're not wrong. What kind of bows do I have? Let me see. I'm gonna go ahead and use this one just for now. Great. Number two, number two. Boom. All right, number three, let's do it. It sees me, here we go. No big deal, no big deal. All right, last cannon, it's targeting me. There he goes. Perfect. Hell yeah, dude. Compared to the other entrances of the Divine Beast, like when you have to kind of fight it and tussle it up just to get inside the Divine Beast, Every one of them have that. I think that's gotta be the coolest one. Followed after that, I think, is your boss's the camel one. Then after that, I think, is the elephant. And the last one, my least favorite, is the lizard one. Because, I mean, the lizard one, you're literally just walking up a mountain, doing like a, oh, stop, you know, red light, green light game with a guy. It's, uh, you know what I mean? But that one, that divine beast we just did, I love that part of the game. It's so cool. All right, let's get it. Do I have any arrows I can waste? Okay, I can use these for the eyeballs for now. Try to be as conservative with these arrows as possible. Woo! All right, 
getting the map, getting it done with, we're doing it. And I have to say, very impressed there's no glitches so far. I mean, there was a glitch before I recorded this episode where my clothes were all goofy, but you know what? I'm not experiencing that at the moment really, for the most part. Do I want this? I mean, I already have one. I'll get the better one. All right, so where are we going first, boys? Good, great. Could super use a shield. If I can find that laying around anywhere, I'd be very, very, very happy about that. Nope, my hair. <laughs> Perhaps I should wear the bandana right now. Ooh, my arrow. Here we go, that's great. Did you see that? <laughs> okay, four, we got four left. I hear something. Oh, okay, where's it coming? Oh, here we go. Please be a shield. It's not gonna be, but please be a shield. Yeah, that's fine though. I could use that. I'm gonna need this, kind of fall back some, right? And then, any second now. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> wait, 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 please. <sighs> All right, fine. Okay. So what is that? Three terminals left, right? Great. Okay. Let's keep this going. I'm gonna take this off. Oh. Really? Uh, <sighs> the Wii U froze. <sighs> oh, the Wii U froze. God damn it. Okay. Man. This is the second time in the series. It's only episode three. This is the second time the Wii U has uh, has has crashed in some way or another, and Zelda keeps glitching out. <sighs> don't don't be surprised when the series goes on a small hiatus. Okay, J that's all I'm saying. Just don't be surprised. All right. Well, like, I guess I'm uh, I guess I'm gonna have to come back. Okay. Okay, we're back. That uh, that was one of the last straws, I, I think. I'm gonna pull this mic in closer. Give me one second. There we go. That was one of the last straws, I think. This uh, this mod absolutely crashed to this Wii U. Let me just be clear. This Wii U, I bought it online. I bought it online specifically so I could mod the Wii U and I could put the Zelda mod on this copy of Breath of the Wild. That is the specific reason that I bought the Wii U. Because, l let me be honest, I have my own, but I'm not experienced with modding, so I don't really understand what I'm getting myself into. And of course, with that being said, I also don't know, in general, anything about it. So I don't necessarily know like the warning signs of like, okay, maybe this might crash or I don't know what I should be avoiding in gameplay. And you know what I mean? I'm not frustrated. It, it's not that I'm frustrated. I'm just like too many things. I think there's too many things that are happening where it's like this really, you know what I mean? But it's all right. I'm, I'm fine. I'll live another day. <sighs> anyway, let's get this ball. <laughs> I know I'm able to actually grab it, but can I grab it from here is the question. Oh, yeah, there's your answer. What I want to do is put it here and just wait for the bird. And we're waiting. There we go. Okay. I'll do it. Perfect. There should only be one terminal left at this point, right? Oh my god, yeah. And then we, after that, just go fight the boss. That's it. One terminal left. So where is this? Oh, it's below me. Oh, <laughs> I know where to get this. I know where to go. Watch and learn, ladies and gentlemen. Watch and learn. All right, if there's a possibility I can get under here, should I chance it anyway? I'm going to. Oh, <laughs> thought it'd be deeper. Glad I didn't misjudge that. Oh, that's right. There's no cart for this one. Okay, so I just gotta, I just gotta go for it. I just gotta jump. <sighs> okay, let's do it. God, this would be terrifying in real life. Here we go. The wind was pushing me away. <laughs> I didn't like that. Boom. Now the main terminal. I can't go there right now. God, that'd be terrifying. This would honestly be a traumatic experience for me. You have to understand, I am deathly afraid of heights. Okay. Wait, I could save this. I'm going to save this. Hold on. Right, 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 right. Watch this, watch this. Boom. So, I mean, if I was genuinely in this experience, 
it, oh my god, I, I shit myself. I don't know what to do. So before we start, I want to prepare myself. I'm gonna go ahead, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and eat this one. Let's do that. Start with the most hearts I can. And while we're at it, start with the best weapon and the best bow I have, which is this one. All right. <sighs> Episode three and it's already our first divine beast. Very excited. Shit. I'm just mesmerized. Don't know why I've seen this a million times, but oh yeah, oh yeah, oh, I'm excited. Okay. Okay, I have 21 bomb arrows. I have to be very precise with my shots. And I don't have very many good melee weapons. So, truth is, I really don't know how I'm going to be able to do this. But, oh, and still no shields. Still no shields. Shield situation never uh, got any better. Yes. No, stop it. Okay. Already on the second form? Wow. This one's gonna be difficult because without a shield, I can't deflect any of the shots that he's gonna end up shooting at me. And I used to be, I, that just used to be my strategy. Oh, and those little things. Okay. I'll just shoot them with ice arrows. Oh, they're going right through it. Okay. I only have six now, so I have to be more careful. What do they do again? I forget. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, it's been a minute. It's been a little while. I need to get him back to the floor. Yeah, I like that. Oh my god. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Let me try to get these things. Hi. Oh god. <gasps> no. Don't worry, don't worry. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Now's my chance. Oh, you're right. Oh my god, I don't have any stamina though. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, I didn't see that coming. Wow. <laughs> I didn't see that coming. I am genuinely shocked. I truly didn't think I was prepared for that. Wow. This just might be a cakewalk if I do say so myself. Hear that? That's victory right there. That's the controller. I just realized get the Master Sword takes 13 hearts. I currently have six, and this is going to be my seventh. So I would only really need to do like three other heart things on my own. So that's another 12 shrines. And if I want to do more stamina, that can be. So after all the divine beasts, I'll get four star heart hearts. What am, I, what am I saying? I'll get four hearts. I was just at six. That'll bump me up to 10 after the divine beasts themselves. And then after doing 12 shrines, I'll get three extra hearts and I'll have enough to get the master sword. And honestly, I truly don't need the master sword. I could, I could fight Ganon without it, but I would feel very reliable with it. And it's ravioli. Look at that. All right, enough of you. There it is. And no, no glitches. Surprised by that, I have to say. What, what? Do you mind? Don't fucking laugh at me. When we come back, I will be prepared to do the elephant. All right, I think we're off. I'm done. We're good. Oh God, that was a much steeper job. Than that. 